So the challenge is really to understand what we mean when we say weaponization of information. Um, the reality is that the internet over the last 15 years has led to the single largest empowerment of people on the planet, which means that effectively people that previously would have lived their lives in the 20 kilometers that they were born, the 200 people that defined their family unit, or the 2,000 people that actually uh, were part of their professional lives over years, suddenly now, in one single generation, have direct access to the universe of information available globally. What's disappeared effectively is gatekeepers, whether those gatekeepers are elders, family, institutions, political parties, or religion. And because the internet tends to be dominated by the young, what's that, what that's meant is, is the fact that without intermediation, information has had a diverse impact socially, politically, and elsewhere. And we see that. We see that in the challenging of norms uh, sexually. We see that in the challenging of norms socially. And we have seen that in the challenging of norms politically. Now, whereas that process is a process that really ultimately is going to be solved by gatekeepers being reintroduced into cyberspace, effectively us educating our children to deal in this environment like we would have educated our children to deal with any other kind of environment, where it becomes complex is where information effectively starts being manipulated by third parties, the, the foreign policy dimension. Um, and that's a tough one because on one hand it expects states to be able to come up with rules of the road to be able to deal with this kind of um, messing with each other's uh, political systems. On the other hand, it has to be uh, understood that detecting that necessarily may not necessarily be easy at all. So what's the solution? On one level, I think education is the most important. Um, again, reintroducing gatekeeping through education over information uh, within societies. And secondly, coming up with some kind of rules of the road, however light they may be. A gentleman's agreement, if you like, between countries that perhaps interfering within each, in each other's internal political processes doesn't lead to the most stable global environment.